students so uh, in our last video i discussed with you the structure of dna right that how does it look like and what did i say to you that the backbone is made up of pantose sugar as well as the phosphoric acid or phosphate so diameter is 20 angstrom and it has two grooves shallow and the deep groove and they are anti parallel these two strands are anti parallel to each other 3 dash to 5 dash 5 dash to 3 dash again i am saying never ever draw this kind of structure it is never coiled like this it is coiled in a right hand manner this is the right way to draw it right in whatever book there is written but this is the correct way to draw now what do you mean by 5 dash to 3 dash we are very clear that what is a nucleotide made of first thing it is made up of sugar which kind of sugar pentose sugar i'm not going to number all the sugars here because basic thing is to tell you about the polarity now which uh, there is attached a nitrogen base we are taking here adenine here again we are taking here thiamine and here we are taking cytosine now what is attached on fifth carbon that is phosphoric acid at third that is our oh again uh, i uh, can draw it with the another color for you now again on the fifth there is a uh, phosphoric and third there will be oh let's draw it again with the different color now again there is fifth p and then there is a oh now look carefully uh, okay if i have to tell you the numbering there is one two three four what is this carbon five dash now come to this what is this carbon one two three four this is five so this is three carbon now you can clearly look here here three carbon is free here five carbon is free so and our stand is like uh, or sugars are arranged actually this is not straight molecule uh, in a dna this is a coil version but for your understanding i have uh, drawn it like this so here which end is free 5 dash here which end is free 3 dash so strand moves from which direction to which direction it was 5 dash to 3 dash direction right and what are what are our nitrogen bases a t c now in the second strand because it is anti uh, pallor so the position of ribose uh, orientation will be little bit changed here if it is a what will be your base pyrimidine that will be thymine how many hydrogen bonds two hydrogen bonds again orientation is different because so this is adenine why this is adenine because here it is thymine how many bonds two hydrogen bonds now draw another uh, there is uh, cytosine so cytosine will combine with the uh, guanine so how many hydrogen bonds three hydrogen bonds right so here now look what is this this is third position uh, clear this is our third position and because this is nitrogen base is attached here so this will be first this will be second this will be third this will be fourth and this will be fifth so at fifth phosphoric acid is attached so this is third now here what is attached third carbon oh fifth carbon phosphoric acid third carbon then again it will be oh and then fifth it will be phosphoric acid now you can see here that which uh, two positions are free here third carbon is free no group is attached here here five carbon is free so no group is attached here so the strand will be now move in three dash to five dash direction that is the meaning sorry that is the meaning of anti pallor right that if one strand is moving in five dash to three dash direction other strand will move in uh, 3 dash to 5 if one is moving in 5 dash to 3 other will move in 3 dash to 5 dash and what are these bonds these are our phosphodiester bonds right as you can see here also phosphodiester bond is formed here also phosphor so i told you also that if phosphor uh, bond 
फॉस्फोएस्टर बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन हेयर इज एंड हेयर ऑल्सो देन इट इज नोन एज रिटर्न एज फॉस्फो डाइएस्टर बॉन्ड I hope you are clear with this. And again, I am repeating that this is drawn only for your understanding that what is five dash n, what is three dash n. Otherwise, in the strand, it is coil like in this manner, and nitrogen bases are arranged here, right? If in one strand it is A, in second strand it will be T. One strand it will be G, then other strand it will be C. Clear? So now. there is a uh, so this is our representation of this is representation of antipalar nature of dna one turn i told you 36 degree which is equal to if you have to uh, change into angstrom that will be 34 angstrom is the length of the dna and at every turn one turn is how many degree 36 degree so at every turn means here after every turn in this area or you can say in uh, this particular area how many nitrogen bases will be there always there will be 10 base pairs distance between two consecutive base pair means this distance distance between these two consecutive base pair is 3.4 angstrom and this form of dna is called b form of dna now b a z there are different kind of dna but we don't have to discuss them in detail uh, types of dna in 11th that is a whole chapter again in class 12th where we will discuss the types of dna but here uh, this a b z is according to their arrangement of uh, nitrogen bases uh, pair that in every turn how many base pairs so here there are 10 base pairs so this form of dna is called b d n a i hope that you are clear with many things uh, right now so there is a uh, now our another structure of nucleic acid that is the ribonucleic acid we don't have much detail of ribonucleic acid as we discussed dna but the basic i am going to tell you because we are discussing nucleic acid so you need to know that what is rna it is why why it is ribonucleic acid because the pentose sugar is ribose now it is not double stranded that is the one difference between dna and rna it is single stranded again it is polymer of now ribonucleotides what was dna it was the polymer of nucleotide but because here now the sugar that is we say that it is a uh, ribonucleotides uh, so here there you can also write that it is a polymer of deoxy ribonucleotides both are correct terms right it has what it has it has again it has ribose sugar and it has nitrogen bases which kind of nitrogen bases are here now adenine guanine cytosine uracil right these kind of uh, bases are present in the rna now it is of three types mrna trna rrna i'm not uh, going to discuss them in detail but their name should be known to you m for messenger means it is going to carry some information t is transfer that information is transferred by this rna r is ribosomal which has the ribosome which help in protein synthesis means if rna will not be there there will not be any kind of protein synthesis also if we talk about the structure it has it is um, single stranded rna it is ha, does not have double strand it has nitrogen bases a g u c a uh, and that is a 5 dash to 3 dash direction that is all you need to know about the rna now the next just i'm going to touch this uh, topic i'm not going to discuss detail i'm not going to uh, tell the types i'm just going to let you that what we are going to study yes uh, now tomorrow not yesterday what we are going to discuss tomorrow so for that purpose i'm going to tell you about this just going to touch this topic that this is uh, proteins proteins are also known as poly 
peptides i told you that many amino acids one two three four many amino acids combine to form the peptides chains polypeptide chain and polypeptide chain when combine the to form the protein molecule so it is also known as polypeptide they are polymers of amino acid means polymers again they are made up of many amino acid you are very familiar with this bond now that is peptide bond when two amino acids combine they form they combine with the help of which bond peptide bond that is the reason i am going to touch this so that you can understand that what we are going to discuss yesterday uh, tomorrow not yesterday uh, so they are polymers of amino acids which are linked by peptide bond uh, types of amino acids i discussed with you neutral acidic basic neutral they have equal nh2 coh group acidic basic both the groups are same acidic which have more coh group uh, than the nh2 basic it uh, have more basic group than the acidic group the purpose to touch this topic is to give you the information of these 20 amino acids which help us in protein synthesis you need to know you need to learn you need to remember these amino acid compulsory either you remember them two to the daily basis or remember five daily basis repeat them but they should be known to you like glycine neutral acidic i have uh, uh, now classified them into the neutral acidic basic so glycine alanine isoleucine valine leucine phenylalanine proline methionine then serine threonine tyrosine cysteine glutamine asparagine tryptophan these are all our neutral amino acids and two are only acidic aspartic acid glutamic acid that will be very easy for you to know aspartic and glutamic acid basics are three lysine histidine and arginine these were our initial 20 amino acid but now uh, few researches they have found the another two amino acid which play role in the protein synthesis and they code also for the protein so that is called 21st and 22nd amino acid according to the latest research So twenty first is selenocysteine. I am not putting them in uh, any category right now. You need to know that they are other than uh, neutral acidic basic. Uh, pyro, pyrolysine. That is the twenty second amino acid. So these amino acid you need to remember at least because they are basic for our protein synthesis. So tomorrow we are going to discuss about the proteins. Thank you.